Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is Powers of 10 and Exponents. This is our fourth lesson in our textbook, so don't forget all your lessons can be found at www.mrmathblog.com. And then you, at the top, there's several links. You'd click uh, the fifth grade link. All right, there's our common course strand, and our question is, how can we use exponents to, solve, uh, to show powers of 10? So here we have uh, uh, the base 10 block. This is the large cube right here. So expressions uh, with repeated factors such as 10 times 10 times 10 can be written uh, by using a, a base with an exponent. So the base, you guys, is the, is the number that is being used as a repeated factor. So here's the repeated factors, 10, 10, 10. Okay, so that would be the base right there. And, and the exponent is the number that tells us how many times the base is being used as a factor. So here, the base is being used three times, 10 times 10 times 10. So here it is right here. 10 times 10 times 10 is going to equal 10, and we call it to the third power. Okay, 10 is the base, and the exponent is the 3. 10 to the third is 1,000. In this large cube, there's 1,000 small cubes in there. Okay, so word form, the third power of 10. I like to say 10 to the third power. So your textbook might say it this way, the third power of 10. But when you guys get up into uh, middle school and high school, you'll, you'll probably be saying 10 to the third power. So this says 10 to the third power. So the exponent form is right here, 10 to the third power. Okay. All right, so let's try this, you guys. What, what is uh, 10 times 1,000 written uh, with an exponent? Okay, well, we're going to start with some base 10 blocks here. Here's a small cube. This is 1. This 1 represents just one small cube, so it's 10 to the 0. The reason why it's 10 to the 0 is there's 0 10s in here. It's only 1, so there's no 10, so it's 10 to the 0, so it, it just equals 1 right there. Okay, but if we had um, uh, 10 ones right here, that, that is the same as 1 times 10, and that's 10 to the first, because we have one group of 10s right here. All right, if we did a flat right here, remember this is called a flat. This has 100 ones in it right there, so it's 1 times 10 times 10, because there's 10 10s in here, so that's why it's 10 times 10. Okay, so 10 times 10 is writ written as 10 squared. Okay, so here's the base, 10 times 10, and since it's being written twice, then it's 10 to the, to the 2 power. And then when we get to this uh, large cube, there's a thousand ones in there, uh, which is the same as 1 times 10 times 10 times 10. There's 10 hundreds inside of there. There's 10 of these hundred flats inside of here. You know, if we, did, if we counted them, there would be 10 going across right there. Uh, so that is 10 to the third, because it's 10 is being repeated three times. One, two, three. So it's 10 to the third right there. Okay, have you seen exponents before? Uh, okay, you'll see them for the rest of your math uh, life anyway. So how many ones are in one? Well, that's easy. There's just one, one, and one. How many ones are in 10? Well, there's 10 ones in 10. And you're thinking, okay, where's this going? You'll see. So how many tens are in 100 right there? Well, how many how many tens are in this 100? Well, there's there's 10 10. So just think there's 10 groups of 10 or 10 times 10. So there's 10 uh, tens in 100. Well, how many hundreds are in 1,000? Do you guys see a pattern yet? Well, there's 10 groups of 100 in 1,000, you guys. There's 10 of these flats in this uh, large cube right here. So how many groups of 100 are in 1,000? Well, there's 10 of them inside of there, okay? So do you see a pattern as we keep going? They just increase by 10, by 10, by 10. So how many thousands are in 10,000? Well, you can probably see uh, the pattern here. There's going to be 10 group of 1,000s to get us 10,000. And since 1,000 is 10 times 10 times 10, here's another 10. There's four 10s, so uh, there's 10 of them right there. So there's another group of 10s right there, okay? And we'd represent this as... 10 to the fourth, okay? We'll get to that in just a second right there, okay? So we're going to draw a picture over here. So there it is right there. So in this box right here, we're going to draw a quick picture to show 10,000. Well, if that represents 1,000, I don't want to, uh, you know, draw 10 of those. That's kind of hard to draw 10 of those. So let's just pretend like this is the same thing. This uh, box with a T in it will be 1,000 right there. So if this is 1,000, then... 10 of them right here is going to be 10 times 1,000 right there, which is going to be, there's 1,000 right there, 10 times 10 times 10, and so now we have those four 10s right there, so it equals 10 to the fourth. 
All right, that's a long way to get to this, you guys. But so 10 times 1,000 is the same as 10 to the fourth right there. Here's 10 times 1,000, and this 1,000 has three tens in it, so it's 10 to the fourth. All right, sorry for the long explanation, but it'll get us to this pattern right here, you guys. So 10 to the 0 is 1, 10 to the 1 is, is 10, 10 squared, we'd say that, or 10 to the 2 power. 10 squared is 100. This is said as 10 cubed, or 10 to the 3rd is 1,000. 10 to the 4th is 10,000. And check this out, you guys. The number of zeros after 1 is the same as the power of 10. You see how there's no zeros after this 1? Well, there's this is 0, so there's 0 zeros after that. There's 1 0 after this 1? Well, that's the same as this power. There's two zeros after this one. Well, that's the same as this power. Look, this power is three, three zeros. This power is four, four zeros right there. So, so if we did uh, 10 to the fifth, it would be a one with five zeros right there. You see that pattern right there? It's kind of makes it easier that way. So we'll use that pattern in this here. So we're going to multiply a whole number by a power of 10. So this example is talking about hummingbirds. Hummingbirds beat their wings very fast. The smaller the hummingbird is, the faster its wings beat. The average hummingbird beats its wings about, and they wrote it as 3 times 10 to the third times a minute. Okay, so how many times a minute is this uh, written as a whole number? All right, so um, uh, we're going to multiply 3 by powers of 10 and just look for a pattern, you guys. Okay, so uh, 3 times 10 to the zero is the same as 3 times 1 because 1 has no zeros behind it, that many zeros behind it. And 3 times 1, well, that's easy. That's just 3. Okay, 3 times 10 to the first, well, that's just a 1 with 1 zero behind it right there. So 3 times 10 to the first is 30. Okay, this is, now check this out, you guys. This is going to be 3 with that many zeros right there because it's a 10, which is 30. This one's going to be 3 with a 0 with a 0 because it's 10 times 10 or that many zeros right there. So that's going to be 300 right there. Okay, so 3 times, here's my 1,000 right here, 10 times 10 times 10. That's this 10 to the third right there. So it's going to be 3 Zero, zero, zero. So that is 3,000 right there. Okay, so uh, the average hummingbird beats its wings about 3,000 times a minute. Gosh, that's fast. Have you ever listened to a hummingbird when it's flying in front of you? Sometimes they fly in front of you. Sound like a little, little helicopter. Okay, so explain how using exponents simplifies an expression. Well, uh, exponents help us write very large numbers into smaller condensed form. You know, for example, 5 million, this is represented as 5 million, is the same as 5 times 10 to that power. How many zeros? There's six zeros, so 5 times 10 to the 6th. Okay, so what pattern did we see here when we did this multiplication right here? Okay, well, uh, the number being multiplied with 10 to a power is, the num is that number with that many zeros. So here it's 3 times 10 to the first, so it's going to be 3 with 1 zero. This is going to be a 3 with 2 zeros, or 300. This is going to be a 3 with 3 zeros, or 3,000. Okay, I hope that video makes sense. Hey, if you guys can, would you guys click like on this? Thanks a lot. Take care.